the question says two circles of radii a and b touching externally are inscribed in an area bound by y is equal to root of 1 minus x square and the x axis if b is equal to 1 by 2 and a is equal to 1 by k then k is all right so in the question it is given to us it is bound by the area y is equal to root of 1 minus x square and it is given radius of let us suppose uh, this is the circle s1 because this is um, uh, this one circle s1 and this is s2 okay so circle with the radius b let it be s2 with the radius b is equal to 1 by 2 and s1 with the radius a is equal to 1 by k so we have to find the value of k so also these two circles touch each other externally at this point and also it is given to us that these circles are inscribed within uh, y is equal to area bound by y is equal to 1 minus x square and x axis so mm -hmm. Let us simplify this y is equal to root of 1 minus x square. So y square is equal to root of 1 minus x square whole square. y is equal to 1 minus x square. x square plus y square is equal to 1 square. So we form this. We get this circle. So now as you can see this is the circle and um, semicircle. And also this is the x axis. So the area bound by the circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 and the x axis within that these two circles are present. Alright and D is the center of the big circle which is for any circle of this general formula has the center. Let us suppose center is D so that is 0 comma 0. So this is the origin. Alright and this is the x-axis and we also know that b2d is equal to b1d because it is the radius of the semicircle which is equal to 1 all right as given uh, using the equation of the circle radius is equal to 1 so we can write b2 plus c2 d b2 c2 plus c2 d is equal to 1 and we already know the radius of s2 circle which is 1 by 2. So b2 c2 is 1 by 2 plus c2 d is equal to 1. So let us find c2 d c2 d is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly we can find c1d so that will be b1c1 plus c1d is equal to 1 so b1c1 is a the radius of the uh, smaller circle a plus c1d is equal to 1 so c1d is equal to 1 minus a now we also know c2a2 is the radius of s2 which is equal to 1 by 2 and another information we will need is c1a1 which is the radius of the smaller circle is equal to a uh, using the diagram we can uh, note that in these two triangles we can apply the pythagorean uh, formula that is so let us do that so C2A2 whole square plus A2D whole square is equal to C2D whole square. So C2A2 is 1 by 2 whole square plus A2D. We don't know the value of this. This is what we need to find. And we also have C2D which is equal to 1 by 2 whole square. So, A2D is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4. 
under root is equal to 0. Similarly, let us do for the other triangle. Let us apply the Pythagoras uh, theorem. So that will give you C1A1 plus whole square plus A1D whole square is equal to C1D whole square. So C1A1 is A square plus A1D whole square is equal to C1D is 1 minus A whole square. So A1D is equal to 1 minus A whole square minus A square. That is A square plus 1 minus 2A minus a square so plus a square minus a square will get cancelled and a one d is equal to root of one minus two a so this is the uh, first second important information and this is the third important information now that we have a two d and a one d these two distances let us write the distance um, the coordinates of the center of s1 and s2 circles so c1 will be look into the uh, diagram and you can see it is a1 d comma the radius and for c2 the center is a2 d comma the radius so that is a1d is root of 1 minus 2a comma a which is the radius of c1 and the coordinates of c2 will be 0 comma 1 by 2. The radius is b which is 1 by 2 right. Now let us find the distance c1 c2 which is the distance between the two uh, centers of the circles is equal to the radius 1 plus radius 2 right so that will be c1 c2 distance can be found out using the distance formula which is 0 minus root of 1 minus 2a whole square plus a minus 1 by 2 whole square everything under root is 1 minus 2a plus 2a minus 1 or let it be uh, a minus 1 by 2 whole square itself so this under root is equal to r1 plus r2 is equal to r1 is a plus b is 1 by 2 so r1 is equal to a and r2 is equal to 1 by 2 so let us square this whole side and square this whole side to remove the root right. So this will give us a plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 minus 2a plus a minus 1 by 2 whole square. a square plus 1 by 4 plus 2 into 1 by 2 into a 2 2 cancel that is a is equal to 1 minus 2 a plus a square plus 1 by 4 minus a so a square plus 1 by 4 is common on both sides so it will get cancelled. a plus a is 2a is equal to 1 minus 2a. 
फोर ए इज इक्वल टू वन एंड सो ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर सो इट इज गिवन दैट ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई के इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन ए इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू वन बाई के एंड हेंस द वैल्यू ऑफ के विल बी फोर 